Hi everybody, today I have such a good recipe, so many requests for it, and here it is, my crock pot birria. How easy is that? Just to put it in your crock pot, forget about it, and then after it's done, I'll come back and show you the second step, which is gonna be amazing and so delicious. Let's start with the ingredients. Okay, everybody, let's get started. I've got my crock pot here and it's set on high. I went ahead and added boiling hot water in here uh, just to get it started so we wouldn't have to wait that long um, to get the water to start boiling. Our first ingredient, of course, is the meat. We have some chuck roast, some pieces of chuck roast here, and this will definitely change the flavor of your birria. It's uh, just bone, beef bones, and then, of course, I got a little extra beef chuck shoulder roast just to give it some more flavor. And over here with our vegetables, we've got a whole onion. I'm only adding half of this of these carrots to the mix. And then at the end, I'll add the rest. We have um, a beef bouillon, three bay leaves, um, head of garlic, and then my guajillo chilies. If you don't have guajillo chilies and you have something like this, which is guajillo powder, um, it's totally fine to do that. I just like the oiliness of this chile at the end when we're making or assembling our tacos. So let's put everything into the mix. We'll start with our, with our beef. And then we'll do the rest. It's hard for me to maneuver, so I'll come right back. Okay, I added all my beef, including the bones, in here. And to this, I'm gonna add an entire onion. There we go. I'm gonna add that beef bouillon. Just add it in there. The garlic. A couple of these carrots. And I'm adding just the, the thicker ones, the bigger ones, and saving the smaller ones for the end. And then, of course, some of this guajillo chili. Just spread that around. And finally, my bay leaves. And that's it. I'm gonna sprinkle some of this guajillo powder in here just to get the flavors going. If you don't have it, it's okay. It's not a big deal. But I just love the color that it gives it. So we'll put this on high for six hours. We'll come back to it and I'll show you the final um, step to this crock pot birria. Five to six hours on here, guys. At this point, we're gonna add some oregano. We took out all the chiles, the onion, and a cup of the broth. And we're gonna blend this and put it back into the, into the stock, into the crock pot. back into the crock pot and continue to let it boil for another two hours and at this point you can add, add the rest of the of the carrots okay at this point we're going to remove all the oil and just skim the top for all this oil and we're going to put it on this uh, saucepan so all this grease is gonna serve for us to fry or dip our tortillas in before we fry. So just skim all this oil right here off and put it in the saucepan. Still no. You can add a little guajillo powder if you'd like, just to give it a little bit more color. Not too much, just sprinkle a little bit of, of that in there and maybe just a little pinch of salt. Taste this for, um, for salt, for more salt, more flavor, and if it needs to, you can add a little bit more of the bouillon. You could add a little bit of the chicken one. Okay, now we go ahead and take out the meat and we can Easily just take two forks and shred this very easily. Look how 
easy that comes apart. So we shred all this meat and then we take it and then we put it back into the birria juice. Finally, you're gonna take your broth and you're gonna add some cilantro, a little bit of onion, and there you go. Grab your tortilla, dip it in the oil, and there you go, let it fry up, nice and crispy. You can do a couple of these at a time. Okay, there you go. Make sure you get them nice and crispy. You add your cheese, and this is Oaxaca cheese. Your meat, nice and minced. Make sure you put plenty. Close these up and make sure they get they fry up nice and toasty. Oh yeah, nice and toasty. Now we're ready to enjoy. Sprinkle a little lime to your taco. Little cilantro, more cilantro and some onion. And then you take it, dip it into your broth. So good. So delicious. Yay! Mm -hmm.